What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G-Miles World. And right now, we are currently 5-0. and oh. So, um, we're going to be going into this game really quickly for Weekend League. And I'm about to bring out this new blitz that I've been working. Oh, how did everybody disappear? I love that, bro. I love that nobody's there, but then everybody just warps right into their chairs, bro. It's kind of lit. Uh, but every time that I see it, why are those eyes looking at me so... What is it? I forgot how Spongebob said it. Why are your eyes looking at me so vicious? But what is that word? You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know what Sponge Spongebob I'm talking about when he's like... Yeah, why are your eyes Googling me? So it's one of those words. I don't know. Oh, menacingly. Why are, you, why are your eyes looking at me so menacingly? It's something like that. Whatever. SpongeBob used to be the GOAT. Then they just changed writers and the, and the show became pure trash. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to go ahead and jump into this Mutt 18 Nano Glitch Blitz that's going to blow your mind. Okay? All right. That sounds like I'm trying to sell something. But I'm not really selling anything. I'm just letting you guys know that there's a lot of other things that you can utilize that used to be in 17. For instance, this is Nickel Blitz. I'm just running it differently. Different setup, different alignment, different things that are going on with it, right? But it's the same result. Now, let me explain something to you about this Blitz. You see how he screams like that? He screams like that regardless if the mic is ID'd or not. So even if you ID the Blitzer, you see like right there when I sent it on the right, I didn't get to adjust it the way that I wanted to adjust it. But like I said, I lab while I'm playing human opponents. So. You know, I, I, oh, pit me off, run number six, run number six too. Yo, listen, do me a favor, pit my mom's up and do her too. But look, listen, so look, right? Um, when I'm labbing against a human opponent, because it's not the same in practice mode or when you play the computer, you have to, you have to be willing to give up a play or here, here or there. You know what I'm saying? So as far as what I'm doing, I first tried this out while I was doing solos. And then what happens is you'll be able to see if there's a chance that a blitz can come in in a solo challenge because the way that the computer blocks it, They'll cheat you, especially if it's like an all Madden solo or sometimes all pro. Um, they'll cheat you with the way that they pick up the block, right? So you have to figure out from that point what angle you need to change for a human, you know, for when you're playing competitive, you know, human opponents. Because the whole game plan is different with the way everybody picks everything up. So when I was playing this guy, I had just figured it out. Like, yo, wait a minute. Nickel Blitz still works. You just got to do this, this, and this. So that's what I'm going to be doing during this game. And it's going to really make it difficult for him because he's not going to understand why he's ID in the mic and dudes are still screaming at him. And that's the whole objective. And that's what I try to do for you guys. I try to make sure you understand. There's a lot of things in the game that, you know, are, are supposed to not be there and stuff like that. You got to figure out what works and you got to run it to the best of your ability to help you get your wins. You know what I'm saying? So even though you can ID the mic, I'm giving you the hint that it doesn't matter about the ID of the mic. You can still come in. And... This guy, you're going to see it in this game. And I'm going to leave a lot of the things open so you guys can actually see. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave more footage so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. When the dude just screams, when he... Why did he... What kind of animation was that? Why did he... What? I threw it to him. What, I, I, yo, whatever, bro. I don't even know what kind of animation that was. That was kind of ridiculous. But um, pretty much the whole situation is you got to be... A, oh, oh, get him. Oh, okay. You, okay, you're going to throw the pick, though. Okay, you're going to throw the pick. Oh, six. 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 Bro, what the... Who was it? Oh, that was McCaffrey. I thought that was a lineman, but that was McCaffrey. Okay, that's cool. All right, so here we go right now. What we're going to do is we're going to just get tackled immediately afterwards. So you can see we're screaming, but that one came late. It was delayed because what happens is he ID'd the mic and he took out the legs. He took out, you know, that's usually what the ID the mic, that's what it'll do most of the time. It'll just take your opponent's legs out. And then that, that gives him time to be able to figure out what else, you know what I'm saying? Like what else he can do and make a read and stuff like that. It's a, it, it's really, really a good addition to Madden 18 is just the fact that you have to understand that angles are everything. Like when you're when you're setting your blitzing angles, no matter crashing them up, in, out, whatever you're doing, understand that you gotta look at the formation. Because a lot of times the way that they come out, the formation that they're in, they're more likely to pick the blitz up depending on the formation. I look, he's stacked to the left, right? But check, check it out. You see how you see he ID'd the mic and he had both of them on the same side. So I should have adjusted, but I was teaching myself during the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right. Obviously, I didn't lab it. I'm just coming out here doing whatever I want, and I'm gonna see what's going on. Now, check this one, right? Do you see? You see what he did? The, the mic was ID. He tried to block him, but that was actually a lineman. So the lineman, you know, got off the block because it's Daniel Hunter. He's gonna get off the block faster, still come in. So even when you set the blitz up, depending on who was ID in the mic, their run block and everything like—I mean, their pass block, everything like that—their strength that contributes to how long they hold that block if they don't take the legs out. And if you match up a D lineman with a running back. 
most of the time, it's not going to end well to, unless the person is really, really strong and he has what it takes to, you know, to pick somebody up. So right here, you see how he was coming right around? He sent McCaffrey out, so it was a five, it, he was just blocking five guys. If he's blocking five guys, the blitz is coming in no matter what. On this one right here, he's going to actually have McCaffrey in, block him to the right side, and I'm going to scream still and come right in. So the, I, you have to actually look at what you're dealing with every time they come up for the formation to set it. You see what I'm saying? You see how the guy from the right came in? It's all about the angles and the pick action of the tenacity of the black right there. Run it for six. Run, go, cut it back. Cut it back. No. All right. Yeah, you know what? Just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing, right? Yeah, run right out of bounds. I don't know. My angle was so dumb right there. I ran directly out of bounds, bro. All right, so this guy's going to calmly go to his screen and do what's right and just rage quit. And then after he rage quits, it is what it is, man. He just couldn't take care of it, man. So I want you guys to go lab and just know that Nickel Blitz is still in the game. Enjoy it. See what you can work with it. It's all about the angles. I got to give you food for thought. Maybe on one of my next Blitz videos, I might share it with you. I don't know. Maybe if you guys ask kindly, you might get it. But I am going to give you some more Blitzes that I found, though, um, coming very, very soon. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Subscribe, share, like the video. G Myers World. One love.